14 February 2019. Okay. This is a veteran educational video by Toapaya Vets to show the common conditions that occur in dwarf hamsters in Singapore. Now there are three inpatients now. The first one is is uh, owned by one owner and hamster number two and three are actually from one owner. Okay, so there are two owners and three hamsters. So we shall start with this one first. We will take, take out the hamster on the board. Okay, just put it flat if possible. Oh, all right, all right. Now, okay, what's what uh, the patient this description? Drop hamster, male, 20 months old, day six of impatience. Okay, now the history was that this hamster was treated by two vets. The origin, original condition was that there was a wound on the left lower cheek near the left nostril eh? uh, the wound and it became very wet I, I believe it was an abscess but in any case the owners consulted vet 1 who gave antibiotics and also vet 2 but the the wound became very much hardened and because it's very itchy the hamster kept, kept rubbing Trying to get rid of the of the hard scab. Okay, where where's the the point at the scab from the left nos, no, uh, nostril area? Okay, and then go up to below the uh, left eyelid, and and then go for the back and come down. You see, it's quite a big one. The ruler, the ruler will show that it's about one centimeter. Is it one centimeter? Yeah, you can see it's one centimeter times one centimeter. It was a hard scab, and uh, it was so irritating that that the hamster started to rub rub the scab off but it couldn't come off so instead the eyelid became swollen and and closed okay now we put eye drops on the eyelid put eye drops on and uh, we've been treating the eye you can see one pimple there okay one drop there's a there's a pimple on the lower eyelid and uh, the way we can see it now. No? Okay, so this this scab has gone down softer, much softer now. The owner had been giving antiseptics, and this has worsened the condition. The best is not to rub too hard and and uh, apply antiseptic because it is quite irritating to the to the hamster. What we what do we use? We use water to clean warm water, warm clean water. And of course we give B2 antibiotics and prednisolone, which was restricted by the second vet. And now you can see now this is day six. Where, where did the scab drop off? The lower part of the scab point has dropped off. Uh, partly right now. Uh, there's a bit here. Okay maybe a few millimeters had dropped off. So slowly, the scab will drop more, and the new new skin will come out. Now we look at the eyes. Huh? Can you see the pimple? It's not very obvious, right? There's a pimple there on the lower eyelid. Now the hamster is not so much in pain now. And uh, okay, what's the body weight? Forty-six right now. Now oh, we put down. Uh, mm. Forty-six grams, huh? And when you came in. 45 grams. So it, it just it just gained one gram after six days of inpatient, which is much better than losing weight. So it looks alright. We explained to the owner that it takes some time, uh, maybe if one or two weeks, to fully recover. And uh, that's because the scab is too hard and too long, about seven weeks. So. The hamster has good, good appetite? Yeah. Yeah, and passes stools? Yeah, around 20 pieces. Okay. Yeah. Now we will proceed to the hamster 2 and 3. 
Now hamster two, you can see a big wound there. We don't need to carry out with. And see this a big is the wound. drug hamster, May mm -hmm. 13 months old. 13 Day months. Two of inpatient. Uh, it's been here for two days. Okay, you can see actually no need to carry him. In, in, in a natural state, you can see a big wound there, or a big tumor, ulcerated tumor, on the on the right, the right flank. We uh, just uh, let let him. Okay, then we look at his uh, same age also, right, sibling. Yeah. Okay. Thirty months old male dwarf hamster. Mm, Thirty months male dwarf hamster. So these two have been uh, living together in the same cage, right? According to the owner, they have been fighting, which is quite possible. And uh, you can see the which hand is that? The left. The left hand, huh? Left hand, elbow. And elbow. Mm. Elbow and. Uh, Forearm has been swollen, but we can't see from this view. Okay, so what we will do is we will do hamster number two first, and take it out, and measure the measure the the lump. I suspect it was a it was a tumor in the first place, but uh, the owner thinks it's due to a bite wound. Now, as you can see, these tumors are quite common, uh, subcutaneous tumors, and uh, you can, it feels very hard actually. Let's put the ruler there and just measure roughly. Uh, should be one centimeter or so, or less. Uh. Only one, about one centimeter across. Yeah. Okay. Take the take the forceps to show the. Is it hard? Is it hard? Is it hard? Does it feel like tumor? It, it feels like tumor. Okay, there, there is some pain there. Okay, we don't touch it now. Now, what's inside? Is it okay? Never mind. You just you just leave it there. It definitely is a tumor, subcutaneous tumor. It's not due to the bite wound. No? But there's a pus. Mm, there's a pus also. Yeah. Yeah, it's an infected subcutaneous tumor. And what happened is probably this, the hamster number three, have been trying to bite it. No? And cause cause infection, yeah. Wait, I just can't focus again. Okay, cause infection. So uh, Dr. Daniel will wait two days, giving antibiotics and uh, anti-inflammatory, before operating to remove this tumor. And uh, there's no other solution. Antibiotics will not just get rid of the the, the swelling. It's more a tumor. At about one year plus, hamster do develop skin tumors, and this definitely is a tumor, but an ulcerated, infected tumor. So there's pus inside, and this is due to the other sibling hamster biting it daily or frequently. Okay, now we go to the third hamster, hamster number three, who is a sibling of hamster number two, and uh, this one is very uh, nervous. They're very nervous because of the wound, the pain, uh, the lump. Ah, okay, wait, wait, let me let me take a photo first. Okay, ah, that might we don't we don't touch him. Yeah, he looks like he doesn't like to be held. But anyway, okay, see see can you manage to hold him up. Oh, that might like that. He can show. You can see his left front leg, uh, the elbow is really swollen to to the. Toe is it? Is it to the toe? Yeah, okay. No. We, we won't touch him. Yeah. It's swollen to the toe. I'm surprised how we have managed to hold him just now. Okay, he definitely is uh, in pain. He doesn't like people to touch him. Yeah. Now you can see this one. This one is most likely a bite wound, in fact, a bite wound no, from the elbow to the paw. Male hamsters living together, they, f they fight. Now see whether they can manage to hold the lower body. You know. Okay, this is also day two huh, of antibiotics. Okay, leave it. I can it will turn upside down, right? It will turn upside down. Uh, just wear the, the, the cotton gloves on. Oh, okay. 
No, these two hamsters are male. The other one is also, also a male. Yeah, male. Now, the owner is against amputation because that means the loss of the leg. Huh? You just put down here and examine the a measure. Now, you can, you can see that it's really a big swollen uh, left front leg. Huh? From where to where? From elbow. Put to the side view, put on the lateral view, turn uh, from where to where. Let me see. It's from, is it from the elbow? Elbow, right? Yeah, elbows. Down to, to where? Down to the to, to toe, right? Yeah. yeah, it's really bad. This one, I, I, I would say this is not a tumor. It's probably a infected, abscessed leg due to fighting and biting. This one is affected. The, the, the condition, the bacteria went into the joints, especially the elbow joints. And that's why there's a big swelling. Is the toe gone? The nails are not there? The nails are there? Okay. So, this one. If the owner doesn't like amputation, then we will wait and see. Yeah? And uh, you see the lower body is all wet. And really, this hamster is in a bad condition due to the urine being... Uh, or is it, why, why is it so wet? Urine or saliva licking himself, uh, self-licking. Uh. And this is quite common because he's trying to relieve his itch. You can see the wound, There's, there seems to be a bite wound there, the bruises. Hmm. The other leg is okay. The other leg looks a bit wet or so. Huh? Is it swollen? No. The back legs? No, the back legs okay. Yeah, only his belly, yeah? his sense gland may be infected. Some bleeding there. So, we try not to amputate any leaks because uh, unless it's necessary or gangrenous the teeth looks overgrown Does, is it overgrown open the mouth put your forceps check the teeth the forceps open the mouth a bit you check the teeth is it overgrown no it looks okay uh. that means his appetite is good you can really see the swollen okay forearm uh, and elbow up to the elbow uh, from the actually from the paw from the what the digits okay put down so uh, which one yeah see the the measurement it's probably 1.5 one centimeter again but the length will be 1.5 uh, up to the elbow yeah uh. Or one point, nearly 1.5 yeah. okay and put down it so in conclusion in conclusion is hamster number one shine the light hamster number one we will treat by conservative treatment that means no surgery the scab will drop off in time but you need the time number two most likely you will need surgery otherwise this is most likely a tumor rather than abscessed or a pure abscess and number three, number three is most likely a surgical amputation needed, but uh, it's up to the owner. So number two, let's see the board, the lower body. Is it clean? Is it dry? And let's see the take this. Take put. Uh, he's also quite worried now. Wait. Mm, let's see. Normally, must check the lower body because. It tells us a lot about the hamster. You see, the sibling, the sibling's lower body is all right. It's clean. You see, it's dry. Huh? He can groom himself, and there's no ventral dermatitis compared to the other fellow. Okay, let's compare the the hamster number one. Which you check the lower body again, and you will see that uh, definitely. Ah, come put here, put here. The lower body should be dry, yeah? and if it's dry, then uh, you see the fur is there. 
It's very, uh, it's, it grooms himself. It's very dry. Check the mouth again. Then check the teeth. Huh? Well, I expect the, the teeth to be okay. Should be not overgrown. Huh? Is it overgrown? No. Check and see. Open both sides huh? up and down. Huh? I will just focus on it. We have a chance to look at the teeth actually. Normal teeth, the way the way uh, they manage. But it may not be happy because of the scab. Uh. But it looks quite short now, uh, the lower tooth. Not only see the lower tooth. Or oh, is it there or not? Is it there? Yeah. Oh, this is the normal length. Yeah. Okay, let's see number two, hamster number two, compared to teeth. Let's put down first. So just close, uh, we'll close the, the video with this, look, checking the teeth. Just have a comparison uh, of the normal length of the lower teeth and upper teeth of the dwarf hamsters. Now, it, it, if they eat normally, the teeth will wear properly, I can see, okay? I'm not so happy. But you can see the lower teeth should be longer than the upper teeth. Huh? Upper front teeth. Is it very long? No, let me see. It looks not too long at all. But the other one, number three, seems to be longer. Is it? Uh, this is the normal length. Huh? So when you do the tooth clipping, don't clip too short if possible. Yeah? Okay, thanks. Okay, we finished already. Um, I'll just conclude everything. So in conclusion, of the three inpatient dog hamsters, number one is a facial wound or abscess earlier on seven weeks ago, which was not uh, treated uh, well, so it became a big scab. Hamster number two and three belong to the same owner. And uh, that area is quite a common area for subcutaneous tumour and also the age uh, being over one year old. Hamster sleeps about two and a half years to three. So it's already considered middle age. So you can see that uh, I'll rule out that it is due to biting. Uh, but hamster number three, where the left elbow to the paw is also swollen. The history of them fighting and living together, so this likely to be a bite wound which has become infected together with the joints being septic. So you can see the hamster is really licking it. So I don't think the owner has any choice but to amputate. You can see he's really not happy with the pain and the itch. And it's even the saliva must have dropped onto the lower body. So that's why the belly is all wet due to this uh, continuous licking. Eh? As you can see, eh? non-stop. It's very painful as well. Eh? And it's very nervous compared to the other two. Okay, we stop now.